So I've wired up my sockets. I've put in a Wago box. Uh, these are great because these use these uh, connectors that look like this. It means you don't have to screw anything down into any sort of cable clips as such. Um, and they're fairly simple to use. So you just lift the yellow lever, push it back down, locks those in place. So my cable coming out of my Wago box, it's gonna go into my plug socket. Um, I've just got here at the moment. So we've got our live, we've got our earth, and we've got our neutral. Um, however, if we look into the actual socket itself, so this is the one that's on our ring main, um, there is no earth and it's not even wired into the back of the socket. So uh, somebody's not done their job properly. Um, but we might be wondering where is the earth for this? So there's no connectors in the socket even to so even wire one in. And the reason for that is because um, all of the cabling coming in here comes through on these metal pipes. And these metal pipes are actually the earth. So we've got an earth here um, although it should be tied into the back of this socket. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to find some nut and bolt to uh, make a connector into the back here. And I will screw an earth so this whole plate then becomes the earth. And therefore I'll take a feed off of that into the earth in here. And I will then wire my new cable earth into that as well. Um, obviously, before you touch any of this, make sure you've powered off your mains or at least test it to make sure that it is not live. So here I've got my tester. And if you put your finger on the top knobbly bit here, that will light up in here if that is live. So we can see that's not live at the moment. So quite happily take that off. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you the result at the end. So as you can see, what I've done is I've put my nut and bolt here, tied this cable in, wrapped it around the back, and then I've tightened that bolt up at the back of the unit just with a nut. Got a compression washer on here as well just to make sure it stays tight. And I put a, just a normal washer on here so I can hold that flat against the back as it's compressed that wire onto there as well. And then I've run that wire into the earth, which then goes to the earth, which goes out the back and down my cable off to my Wago box, which is now living under the floorboards. We'll screw it back onto here and then test the electrics, make sure it's all working fine. And then we'll test all the plug sockets that we've done there. And the other two that we've got on the wall over there. Okay, I put the face plate on. Before you even touch this with your bare hands, because you may have crushed the cables when you screw these in, you need to test it with an electrical tester again. So just I'm testing the back box. So it hasn't lit up, so that's fine. And then lastly, I just want to test where each of these screw bits have gone in. Make sure they're not lighting up, that's fine. And that's fine as well. Excellent, so although there is power now going to this socket, I can see that it is uh, not causing any problems at the moment. So I'm happy that this is all screwed in nice and properly and correctly. Okay, so next thing to do is actually plug something into it and see if it actually works. And then we'll test these ones and the ones over there. I don't own a proper electrical testing socket, so I've just plugged a bit of kit into it to see if it actually works. So, there we go, working. Let's test that out. Excellent. All appears to be working fine to me. Okay, so lastly, what I need to do is put my floorboard that I took out from here to be able to do the electrics earlier. However, I have noticed that where the socket was, there's actually no way that particular piece of floorboard could have sat on anything at this end. So it's fairly loose. It's sort of touching on this side a bit over here. But when I put it back, this bit's not going to touch anywhere near because obviously it was cut back a bit for that. We don't really want it to use the actual uh, cable in for the plug to actually sit on. So to give that a bit of extra support, I'm gonna get a piece of wood, I'm gonna put it underneath the floorboard, 
and I'm going to screw it over here and here to give it an upright pull support so that it's just got a little bit of extra support as it rests on top over on this side. Um, obviously I've got to keep it away from these cables so it'll probably be back here a little bit. Okay, so I'll just stick that under the floorboard and screw that in. Just testing the depth of the screw because I don't want to go through and touch anything on the other side when it's come through the, the plank. So just make sure I get the right depth of screw. I need to go through the floorboard and into, into the piece of wood. So these ones should be fine. Do the same over here. Just pull it up a bit so that it bites into it. That's created a nice solid base now. So that will hold the floorboard when anybody treads on it. So pretty simple, but a very effective little way of doing that. Just draw the cables tucked out the way of it there. Back in place. It's a nice tight fit. <laughs> Good in one way. There we go. Lovely Bring a bit back in. And we've still got our two screw holes here and here, so we'll just follow that same line. Hold that in place. Lovely. And you just need to put one in the back. And this end over here. Just to hold that in place. Perfect, quite happy with that. We'll get the carpet and that back over the top of that. It won't make any difference at all. Stop some splinters coming through. Let's get rid of those. Lovely. So, just give that a little test. Yeah, well, that can hold my weight, that's absolutely fine. Nobody's going through that. Excellent, job done. <laughs> 